What's up guys, I'm finally back. It's been a while since I last uploaded a video. You know, I just finished summer, I had a lot of work. I'm trying to gain a lot of weight, kind of bulk up for winter. My end goal for the winter is just to be about 175, 180. I'm currently 156.2, so I got a long way to go. I'm about a week into my bulk. I've gained about a pound, and I've gained a lot of my strength back on bench. You know, unfortunately though, I have a little back issue in my lower back, so I can't really bend down or put any load on it, such as like deadlifts, squats. So I've just been finding ways around that. So I'm going to get my current weight right now and see where we're at before my workout today. You know, I weighed myself earlier. I was 157.2, which is exactly a pound from where I began. I also have a camera in my hands right now, so definitely going to be a little off from what my actual weight is. So it's 160.2. I still have about 2,600 calories left for my day. Um, long way to go. Before I work out, I just realized that I have still 2,632 cal calories left. So the only way I have a decent dinner that doesn't make me feel like I'm going to explode is to go the good old Jersey Mike's. And then I should have about maybe like 1,500 calories left. So I'm gonna get my, my club sub Mike's with. And then eat that, have my pre-workout, and then get in the gym. Just finished eating my Jersey Mike's. Now I got some pre-workout that I'm gonna drink up. I got some shoulder press first, it's upper day, so that's mainly a bunch of chest, shoulders, lats, back. So, go and do this, set it up, and then get to the rest of the workout. So I did a blue and a white last week, which is 154 pounds. So I'm gonna try to go a little more than that this week. I think it's a three by six, but I'm gonna double check. And then I'm gonna do that, see how it goes. So it's actually a three by five today. So instead of doing 154 like I did last week for a three by six, I'm gonna do a 160, which isn't a big jump, but you know, Last week was pretty difficult, so I don't want to overdo it. So I just finished warming up. I'm going to try to do this for five. If it goes well, then I'm going to go up my two seconds set. try doing that again as my second set, see how, see how it goes. Now that, that's what we call a bad set. That's why it's so hard to get that first rep up on the first rep. You know, I, I hope that the next set and the third set are a lot better. But, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay at this weight. Hopefully it moves better. I'm just going to try to think about it a little more. Um, but I got a feeling, I got a feeling I won't be able to do this weight for my third set. So, just going to Think about technique and the movement, have your eccentric, and then yeah, hopefully it goes well. Oh. Oh. 
You know, as you can tell, these shoulder presses really take it out of me. I'm not unhappy about that, so you know, I feel like I definitely got more range of motion on that. And even though I failed the last reps, I think I think it was a good set. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lower the weight for my last set of shoulder press and see see how that goes. I'm just gonna make it 154, so only six pounds less than what it just was for my first and second set. So. That was definitely a really hard set, but I'm happy I got to do it. You know, I just realized that it was a big mistake to buy compression tees right before the bolt. I'll have a big stomach. So, I gotta enjoy it while I'm still light. Still 157 pounds, so I'm 175. You best believe I'm gonna look a little fatter. But then when I cut, don't look good again. So I'll clean this up and then add some tempo bench, two by four. I'm gonna make that fly. I just realized I said I was gonna make tempo bench fly, but that's the opposite you wanna do on tempo bench. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna make it look slow and good. So I'm gonna set that up, do a couple warm up sets, do top set, then see how the first set goes. And if that goes well, then I'll be able to keep the weight for my second set or maybe even increase it if it was a little light. So I did 209 last week, it was supposed to be a one by four, but I failed the fourth rep, so I'm gonna work my way up to 198, which is a red, big green. And then if that goes well, then I might go up to 209, but see if I made some strength improvements from last week. So for how tempo bench works is that it's three seconds down and then two second pause on your chest and then you just push up as fast as you can. Like I said, I failed 209 for four last week. I was only able to get for three, but I think I'm gonna try this week to get it again, but depending on how my 198 warm up goes, then, then I'll decide if I'm going for it. You know, I moved really well. I have a good feeling about 209 before today. So I'm gonna go up. It's wide grip? Yeah. <laughs> That's so tough. Although I hit four for my first set, it was regular grip and I'm supposed to do wide grip, so for my second set, I'm gonna do wide grip to see how that moves. Last week I did a uh, two by four, but for my second set, I failed uh, 209 on my fourth rep, so hopefully I can hit this, wide grip. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> So I was able to hit 209 for the wide grip, which is really good. I mean, I hit 209 regular grip basically for my first set when it was supposed to be wide grip, but even doing that and then wide grip after, when I failed wide grip last week, 
shows that I made some uh, strength improvements. So I just finished the workout. I had a 4x12 on dumbbell incline and some side laterals and then some weight pull-ups. Um, I've been taking my recovery very se seriously just because I just want to avoid injury. I'm rolling out right now. I've been doing the sauna and I've been seeing some improvements from it. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to vlog my meal, weigh it and everything. See how that goes. Yeah, yeah. I do the sauna. I know what you're thinking. How are you gonna make sure your camera doesn't explode while in the sauna? I'm putting you down low. We're gonna make a little time lapse, okay? So I just finished the sauna. I'm gonna go home. I gotta see how many calories I need for the rest of my day. It's gonna be a very miserable time. I have about um, 1,600 calories left, so I have more. I'm gonna have to have a big meal for my dinner which it's not going to be pleasant for me. So I'm going to film that, then it's going to be the end of the vlog. So I just got home. Now it's time to make my meal. I have 1,782 calories left in my day. Um, my macro goal for each day is 270 grams of carbs, 42 grams of fat. Ooh, excuse me. That's actually how much I have left today. I have 90 grams left of protein. Each daily total uh, macro intake should be 400 grams of carbs, 107 grams of fat, and then 160 grams of protein. Currently right now, this is where it stands. There we go. Okay, I have this much left on my calorie intake. I'm going to have to calculate how much I actually need and then... And then I make it, and then it should be perfect with uh, macro goals, goals for today. But total daily intake for me should be 3,200 calories. Just so I stay in that surplus, so I gain weight slowly each week. And so far I've gained um, about a pound since I began bulking. I mean, I began a week ago, which is actually a pretty decent, decent amount if I want to clean bulk. You know, dirty bulking just makes you... Makes you feel bad. Okay, so the closest I could get to my macro goals is this. So I'm a little over on the the protein. I'm a little, I only have five grams left of carbs, which is actually a pretty good amount left. 10 grams of fat, so I could have a little snack later at night just to get that a little up. I'm gonna have 450 grams of 93% lean ground beef and then 320 grams of uncooked uh, minute rice. So then that will get me pretty close to my daily intake. Just got my ground beef and rice. You know, this is what my dinners have been looking like the, the past week. And, you know, I'm, I'm still fine with it. You know, eventually I'll probably get tired of it. But, you know, ground beef and rice is a gr great way to bulk. Especially with the amount of calories, fat, protein, and carbs it contains. Um, so, um, like I said earlier, I'm really going to try to make consistent content. But with my time being so consumed from school, work, it's going to be a little tricky. But I'm still going to put some effort in. And, yeah, I'll just make content whenever I can. Because I, I actually really enjoy making these vlogs. And... 
If you do want to see more consistent videos from me, I post mostly every single workout on my Instagram, which I'll put right there for you guys. Um, Yeah, I mean, it's been a while since I made a video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time.